Hi everybody, I thought I would make an Elvis video where I rank some of his tracks from least favorite to most favorite. Uh, I wanted to make uh, the video where I was going to be ranking out of all of Elvis's songs what I thought were his top 20, 30. Uh, and then I started realizing this is damn near impossible because I had a list on a pad of like near 100 songs after a while when I got through the decades and I realized that man, I, this guy, I forgot how many great songs he has, and it's impossible to rank them. So many of them are pure gems. How the hell are you going to rank them? So uh, and then I thought, well, maybe I'd break it up. I would do like uh, Elvis's top songs from the 50s, and Elvis's top songs from the 60s, and then the 70s, or his top movie songs, and all kinds of things. I said, you know what? Why don't I just take it with an approach on an album to album basis? is what I'm going to do um, and uh, in a way that works out good for everybody because I know we have a lot of Elvis fans out there on YouTube and um, instead of getting just one video you can get a series of videos which I'll you know uh, sporadically put out here on the channel and you can look forward to different uh, eras for Elvis but anyway I started to start with a compilation this one here being Elvis's Golden Records which I think came out in 58 57 or 58 I think 58 um, and uh, it's one of my favorite Elvis albums. It is kind of cheating in a way because uh, you got uh, all hits on here. And um, I, I thought another good thing about doing this album would be you get a lot of Elvis's early 50s singles on here, uh, which is sometimes uh, just going astray because you have all the albums and the studio albums don't have a lot of singles on it. So that's a way to get a lot of his big hits into this first video so that's what I'm going to start with uh, there are 14 tracks on this album and uh, of the 14 there's only one song that I do not like I actually have one song I don't like that was easy to put at number 14 the other 13 not easy because how are you supposed to rank 13 songs that are all hits number one hits or in the top five whatever they were number 14 a song that I really can't stand hearing, I'm sorry to say. It's called That's When Your Heartaches Begin. And uh, I mean, I'm a little hard on it. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. There's a lot worse than that. But when it comes to ranking Elvis songs, I definitely have to uh, put that easily at the rear. Uh, my heartaches don't begin when I hear that. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that obvious jab. All right, that's number 14. Then at number 13, we have the song Loving You from the movie of the same name. Um, I like the song Loving You, but uh, when I was trying to put these songs together, uh, I found that that was one of the, the least for me, um, trying, to, trying to rank these. Um, number 12, if George is out there watching this, I'm sure he'll be clapping loudly right now. Number 12, I put Love Me Tender, again from the movie of that title. Love Me Tender, I like Love Me Tender, I'll, I'll defend it, but uh, when I'm listing them, I, it just came up up there. I, I started to notice that um, bringing up the rear here were songs that were kind of slow and ballady and sleepy sounding, uh, more than the heavier, rockier, uh, high tempo ones. So uh, that was number 12, Love Me Tender. Okay, at number 11, moving right along here, we have the song Love Me. Now, first you had Loving You, then you had Love Me Tender, and now you just have Love Me, which uh, is a great song. I really like Love Me. Uh, anybody listen? Treat me like a fool. I, oh, God. Ooh, sorry. I uh, can't really sing. But... Uh, that came up at number 11 on this particular list. Now we're into the top 10. These are the top 10 songs. Now you're going to see as I go along here, there's some Elvis songs that are great, that are classics, but either I've just heard them too many times or they're played out. Or maybe they're, uh, I hate using this word, dated. I don't believe in using the word dated. You know, people use that with the Beatles of Sgt. Pepper, 1967 album, and I always say, you know, what do you mean dated? It was made in 67, so it sounds like 67. Same thing goes here, but anyway, number 10. I put a Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear at number 10. Uh, that's one of the first Elvis songs I ever heard as a boy in my mother's 45 collection. Uh, it was either between that or and another song that I'll get to later. Uh, I don't know which one was the very first, but that may be the first Elvis song I ever heard. Good for a little kid, right, Teddy Bear? <laughs> but, uh... 
Hey, I think it would rank much higher if I did this uh, maybe like 40 years ago or something like that. But right now, uh, num number 10, Teddy Bear. Number 9, uh, I played this song uh, in preparation for this video. I mean, I know it well, but I just felt like hearing it. That track would be Any Way You Want Me. Ugh, what a great vocal performance there from that from Elvis. Ugh, it should be much higher, but you can't put everything in the top, right? Okay, number eight, Heartbreak Hotel, uh, Elvis classic that you would think could be in the top three. Um, but again, another song that I'm just a little uh, burnt out on, I think. Great song, you know, uh, but Heartbreak Hotel lands at number eight. Number seven, we got a more upbeat uh, number and a, a song that uh, you don't hear that often. I think that's what makes it uh, stick around a little more in, in, in my choice here for higher picks. And that's Treat Me Nice. Treat Me Nice, uh, a B-side that uh, really is bouncy and moves along. I uh, like that a lot. Now we go to number six. And, I, you know, this song deserved to be high up here, but I mentioned earlier about songs that I just um, burnt out on or that are played out for me. And I also mentioned Elvis songs that were among the first I ever heard. So uh, I think this was one of them. And that's the classic Elvis's version of Hound Dog. Uh, Hound Dog is a great rocker, early rocker uh, from Elvis. Um, I really almost wanted to put it at number 13 or something just based on how overly familiar it is to me. But it deserves to be higher and it winds up here after all the calculations are done at number 6. So now we go into the top 5. What I just said about Hound Dog could also go for the next song. Don't be cruel. Don't be cruel at number 5. Then we go to number four, and this is more like it, a 50s song which is not played out and is not too much, and that is the song, Too Much. Uh, really like that, great guitar in there, love the way Elvis sings it, really, 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 uh, really powerful song. Uh, and as I say, a 50s song that's not played to death. Number four. Now we go to the top three, and for number three, I went with All Shook Up. All Shook Up is, is, is just a great Elvis Harley song. Uh, so many people have covered that. And uh, I know I have a version of, I think, Susie Quattro doing it and Paul McCartney. So many other people. A lot of these songs you could say that for, but All Shook Up, a great early Elvis uh, pop rock number. Okay, number two, uh, one and two. Um, it's hard to decide which one is number one or two. I went with uh, Jailhouse Rock for number two. I mean, what can you say? You know, a really good, uh, powerful rocker for Elvis. I think it still holds up. And if I was going to try to introduce Elvis music to a younger person who's not familiar with Presley, I probably would go with Jailhouse Rock. It's one of those songs that I call uh, street cred. It gives you street cred. Uh, you know, I don't know why. I always go for like rollicking, more rocky or nasty numbers uh, if I'm going to recommend something to a younger person. Uh, and, you know, I'll say I'm glad that on the actual uh, 45 of this song, they didn't do the, the version that's in the movie Jailhouse Rock, where you hear the guys in the background going, I forget if it's like, yo, 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 lay it on me, daddy-o. Yeah, I'm so glad that they didn't uh, include that on there. And the number one song I decided to go with here is um, probably one of my favorite of all Presley songs of any era. That's the classic, I want you, I need you, I love you. Gives me goosebumps every time that I hear it. So anyway, that's it. I want you, I need you, I love you, number one. And uh, I want to, if you're still watching for a second, I just want to also thank, uh, let's see, uh, Margie McDonald of West 107th Street from many years ago. I don't know if she's still there, but uh, I got your uh, Elvis record here. Thanks a lot for showing it.